Amazon S3, or Simple Storage Service, is a service from AWS that lets users store files on the cloud. Think of it like a hard drive on the internet. You can store anything from images, documents, code, sensitive files, or even full websites, and you can access them from anywhere. These files are kept inside containers called buckets. Buckets can be private or public depending on how they're set up. If a bucket is left public by mistake, anyone can retrieve the sensitive files. So in this video, we're going to be learning how to exploit a misconfigured S3 bucket. So I have a CML login, which is asking me for the email address and password. This is a bucket of fish challenge from TryHackMe. And I can see a hacker called Dark Injector is using a CML phishing website to steal credentials. And some users have fallen into this trap. We need to retrieve the list of victim users. And this is the link to the website. So this login page is a phishing website. And this is the URL. If I take a closer look at the URL, I can see this is a S3 bucket. It is hosted on Amazon AWS. The region is US West 2. This is the data center where this website is hosted. And this is the name of the bucket. So one of the way how we can interact with this S3 bucket is with the AWS CLI tool in our terminal. So in my terminal, I'll install the tool by typing sudo apt install AWS CLI space dash y. After the tool is installed in our system, we can check the help menu with the command AWS help. So here you'll get details on how this tool works. Like if I want to access S3 bucket, I would type the command AWS S3 LS. This is the same LS as Linux. I want to list all the contents inside this bucket S3 colon forward slash forward slash and the name of the bucket. I'll copy this and paste it. Now this command will list all the contents inside this bucket. And I can see credential is required. Let's see if we can access this without any username or password. So with the previous command, I will type dash dash no signed request, which means we're trying to access a public bucket without any username or password. And I can see this worked. This S3 bucket has two files, index.html and captured logins. So we might be able to find the list of victim users inside this file. So let's download this file in our machine. We can do this by typing AWS S3 cp which is copy the same command as linux the name of this s3 bucket so i'll copy this and paste it and since we're trying to access this file i'll copy the name of the file and paste it i want to download this file in my current directory so dot and the no sign request because we will not be providing any username and password now i can see the file has been downloaded if i type ls i can see this is the file i'll read the contents of this file and i can see we got the flag so i'll copy this and paste it as the answer. Click on submit and we were correct. So that is for the end of the video. If you like this video and want to watch more content related to CTF challenge, please subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much for watching.